well um, as you can see the boy doesn't even look bothered I think the young man uh, is brimming with confidence and it doesn't even look like something terrible happened uh, I think it's uh, a daredevil kind of look you know he's very young a 20 year old boy with the heart of a devil and as you can see, honestly speaking, the confidence in the look is very ridiculous. Uh, so good afternoon, first men, members of CMO, ladies and gentlemen. It has become expedient and necessary for us to have this press conference because of the recent happenings and what we have been seeing on the media. For the past three days, there has been, I will call it rumor, that has been going around that the prime suspect, Frank Edward Appel, in the murder of Niobong uh, Moren, and he has committed suicide in police cell. They even gave details up to the essence that he used his trouser that I don't know anywhere in the world where suspects are put in the cells with his trouser that he committed suicide using his trouser to tie and himself. himself. I've been inundated with several calls from all over the world as if police decided to bungle a direct case of murder. And that's why we have tried to call for this press conference so that you can see him. The man who is said to be dead is sitting down here and maybe you'll be able to interact with him too. It's most unfortunate that the social media that is supposed to be an advantage to the police and to the citizens in the has become a tool that is being used to vilify even the police and the government. It's most unfortunate. You all can see him, he's seated here, he's not dead, he's very much alive, ill and heavy. Well, you can recall that this whole incident started with the job uh, Umore was seeking to have from Appen. And unfortunately, the, the whole thing went sour. The case was first reported as a case of suspected kidnapping. While on, on the trail of the so-called kidnappers, they went, uh, I, uh, ICT people went into the media because Instagram was used to facilitate their meeting. And at the end of the day, pictures of Frank and the father came up and the DPO who ran the mission swung into action, arrested the father. By this time, Frank had escaped from the house through, uh, through Oro to Calabar. Some of his relations, Knowing fully well that the father is a bit ill, came to speak about the father to say, let him assist the DPO, and who happens to be the SP that one day David Wooden is claiming is a police officer who conspired with Frank, was brought into the picture and he, and he joined the, the cousins to call him and talk to him to come back because Frank kept denying that, he, he first denied that he didn't even see the girl at all. But later, he said he did not know anything about the girl. Then he was convinced by the DPO and all and the cousins to come back. And he came back through Oron from Calabar. And he was brought to the police station eventually. At this point, he was still denying. He kept denying. And at the end of the day, under serious questioning, he broke down and confessed to having killed the young girl. This made the case to change from anti-kidnapping to homicide de department, which investigates murder. Immediately, he led police officers to the scene where they saw the shallow grave, and his, the body of the deceased, may her soul rest in peace, was assumed. It was obvious that there was a struggle I'm not surprised that Frank said, okay, he had kind of knowledge of her at the point, but I'm not surprised there were marks of violence on her abdomen and part of her head, which resulted in the death. 
the body was taken up and sent to the mortuary for autopsy and autopsy has been done uh, i'm sad to announce that the body has been committed to mother mother head today at the end of the day the social media has gone Gaga, a lot of stories. It's even said that uh, maybe uh, Frank belongs to a group of uh, ritualists or people who harvest body parts to sell. Uh, we all know where he was arrested. He does not even have the facilities to keep body parts because if you want to harvest body parts and sell, from my little understanding of uh, medicine, it must be kept under some condition. But such things don't, don't exist there, and it was just said that a lot of uh, bones, a lot of uh, shallow graves were found in the compound, which investigation has not found to be so. And that's why I, even when I appeared on Arise Television, I asked the person who wrote that which bones were the divine bones. At the end of the day, the investigation is still ongoing. We are not foreclosing anything. I will urge Nigerians, instead of going to the point of the press or the media with unclarified or funny information, they should pass it on to the police. Police will investigate. We are still open to find out if it is true that Frank belongs to any body harvesting uh, organization. It's open to, we are open, the investigation is open. The case file will eventually go to DPP and eventually the justice will take its course. It is pertinent that we should mention all this so that people are not misled. A, a, a discrete investigation is still ongoing. It's, at its uh, almost at its concluding stage, but we never close investigation until we go to court. So I'm still saying, I'm appealing to members of the public, if you have information on this issue, you have been open to it. Frank is here. Frank is not there. His father is by his side there for complicity and accessory after the fact. And at the end of the day, we believe justice will take place with this course. Thank you very much. Well, let me answer that immediately. We are police officers. We don't base what we do on rumor. We were at the site. Police assume the body. If there are shallow graves there, the particular grave, the particular shallow grave that the neighbor was placed in was not more than two feet deep. And such a thing, we all know, even if you bury a goat two feet deep, after about 48 hours, the stench will not even allow you to. Neighbors will know, somebody must know that something has happened there. I saw a BBC uh, video, things that look like holes where the dog of yam has been are referred to as uh, shallow grave. There are no shallow graves anywhere. There are no bones anywhere. That is the truth. Uh, but if anybody can show me any shallow graves there, you can show me, but I know there are no shallow graves. We went through the ground properly. Thank you. Let's have the next question. My name is Patrick. I'm interested in the result of your autopsy. They probably want to know at this point. I want to know how to do it. The cause of death has already been ascertained by the autopsy. It has been ascertained, and at the end of the day, by the time file our charges, you get to you get to know it all. I want to tell you one thing: the police has nothing to gain by covering anything. We are not covering anything. I have never met a friend before. He's a young man. My last child is even older than him, so I have no business. This is a murder case. We are talking of a human life lost. I cannot conspire, conspire with him to the school investigation in any form. It will become the way it is. And we are going to report it as it is. Interesting. Yes. Yes. Excuse me, sir. My name is Isaac Jibara. 
last week, the next Sunday, uh, the house of representative urged the Surgeon General of Police to bring the case to the first headquarters. Yes. Why is this officer sitting in your custody despite his son? It's a straightforward case. It's a very straightforward case. My, my headquarters have asked for a report, which we have done. We are Nigerian police, we use officer. Uh, there is no difference between officer in post CID and state CID and even in the division. We all had the same training. Mother is mother. The same principles guard the investigation. Uh, they have not asked me to transfer it after I have sent the report. If they ask, it's even still open now. But the uh, IG, in his infinite wisdom, did not find a need for it because at the end of the day, we are on the right course. Yes, please. We are done. We are done. Thank you. We will not listen to us. The city, the city has spoken remarks, but we are done with it. Now, I thought that we were together. Why did you Why did you kill her? Look at the camera. Owen, it's not the local. It's not the local. It was not intentional. Owen, the old one under that. The old one. The old one. What do you mean? What do you mean? I said What do you mean by said? Owen, look at the camera. Okay, friend. Please, the old one. Yes. Not no, really. Just bad. give us. Let us know what happened on that day. Audible. 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 Hard drugs are kept. I asked her whether she can work in a farm where hard drugs are kept as a secretary. And she said that she can, that she's ready to do the job. So when she came, I revealed to her that this farm doesn't exist. There's nothing, there's no farm like that. It was just a box. So I did. I told her that before she leaves, that I would like to have sex with her, and she agreed. But she gave a condition that I should use a condom, which I did. And uh, while I removed the condom, she became furious, and she took the nearby stabilizer to hit me on my head. And then she hit my left, my left ring finger, and tried to reach for the bone. He was screaming, tried to reach for the bone. So while I was bleeding, in order to stop her, I used the stabilizer to tap. And when I hit her, she fell and started bleeding. Then I attached her. So where did she hit you? On my phone. Where is the wound? What did you do? Okay. You don't have how come this you said she agreed to have sex with you and use a condom. And then all of a sudden she started to attack you. How did it happen? I said that while I was about to remove the condom, she became serious. Why did you want to remove the condom? Yes. Why did you want to remove the condom? You injured her on her head. And what do you use to hit her? What did you use to hit her? The same that she used to. At what point was she screaming for help? When I tried to remove the You didn't use only stabilizer, you used something else. Say so it. That was an iron pressing iron. Where did you use to hit? Where did you hit her? On her abdomen, she was fighting. She was fighting. So the only way I could stop her was no hand. Which hand? Was she your first victim? Yeah. So how many, how many, how many are you killed in that in that process? Killed? I'm not killed anybody. Say they want to kill. Oh. You say she was not your first victim. How many victims have fallen? How many girls? How many have, have you done that to? Whether they died or they did not die. How many so far? Same reverse side. Yeah, how many? How many? All reverse or yeah. reverse? About six. six. <laughs> what of that NYC <laughs> shoes do you have? Uh, the NYC shoes is you know, like, a shoe my mom used to 
my shoes, I advise that we use for family. The shoe is just for family in the house. It's not, it's not a copper shoe, it's not as if a copper came. How did your father insist, assist you in this case? He did not assist me. Do you live in that house? So who 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 helped you to bury her? Did you hypnotize her with any substance? No. It's the number of exercise books and textbooks that are in that compound. Who owns them? Who owns those those books? Who owns those textbooks? 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 I and my sisters. There are several names on them. Part. None of it is your own name. Who are those people? Those names are not no, your name. Several no names. Name different names. There are no different names on them. Absolutely. If you, if you, open, if you open them, you see either my name or my sister's name. What have you got? How about the red gown? The red gown in the room. In the room. Who owns it? There's a red gown in the room. In, in one of the rooms. Yes. Why did you go into it? What's your level of education? I'm a university student. What class are you reading? What level? Which Did you graduate or you What subject? What level? Public administration. What level? Yeah. How old are you? 20 years. This was your relationship with Kufre Fion. Kufre Fion is my cousin. And how did he help in this whole thing? You called him on that day. What's the subject of conversation you had with him? Uh, that was when I was coming back from Calabar. It was initially in the morning I went to Calabar. So while I was coming back, I needed to submit myself to the police. He was the one that picked me up together with the people. What's your conversation with him? What were you discussing? Now, how do you feel about what happened? Hello, dear. My conversation with him was very short and simple. Text me the number of the DPO of Iran that I should call him when I arrive with you. So I called the DPO of Iran when I arrived with you. And then I met with them and they picked me. They picked me in the UK. Where did they pick you? At Shelter Africa Junction. When you kill her, why do you go and dock a grave to the brother? Why not take it to the police or report to the police that John Brother died in your house? I was very scared to do that because I thought maybe the whole scenario was supposed to. So, in India, what was your motive for you to you ask her to come to get the job? What was your motive? What was in your mind? Initially, I used to reverse psychology uh, because uh, I've had very bad experiences with Russell's and prostitutes. So, I used to I, I asked her whether she can work in a farm where hard drugs are kept and she accepted she wouldn't do it that she's marijuana and uh, So I felt that, uh, that, that that's the best way to prevent on prostitutes and around girls. Are you being patronizing prostitutes? No, I, I used to. Now, do you feel about what you thought? What you feel about before the whole world? How do you feel? Uh, I'm not happy about it. Uh, I believe that uh, the commissioner of police is working with men. He has assured that Nigerians have assured that by women's and the entire world that just is You guys should just hold on. Was the was the father around when this thing happened? Your father, your father, been not there when this thing happened. No, he wasn't around. How about your sister? She was not involved. Are you remorseful? Are you remorseful? Yes, I'm but you don't, I'm but you don't sound and, and look remorseful. You said if I'm you don't, you said don't. justice should prevail. Well, now, if what that justice, justice means taking your life, taking pain, your life pain, will you, will you readily agree? Were you in love with the girl? Please, keep quiet now. Are you aware of what your I wasn't aware. I'm not happy about it. You can't get him, please get him. So, at what point do you do you know about this issue? At what point? When um, I was asked to recall him, when I a police came to my compound, checked the compound, they didn't say anything. So I was invited to come and make a statement at uh, the Uran police station. I did. So I was asked to call him immediately, and I called him back. So when he now arrived, 
and uh, I was allowed to interact with him. He told me that he did something wrong and that he's sorry. I was blaming him. Why do you do this? We have a I have. We are not the only child. I have two other children, and they are women. Uh, they are graduates. One is finishing. One is just starting. Uh, if uh, anybody does this to your sisters, we would like to say no. Mm -hmm. So he, he was very. Were you in the house when this is? I wasn't in. I went to town. So is that your house, sir? Yes, it's my compound. Do you live there? Yes, I live there. It is important that nobody has access that ever had access to that compound. That's that is always so locked. That's no, always locked. That is not true. That's what the neighbor said. That is not true. Well, that's what we have. We have uh, a ball in that house. All the people in the street, they fetch water from them. We have uh, they, they, plenty they, they of fruits and mm -hmm. vegetables in that compound. We give out fruits free. So it's just unfortunate. Well, yeah, well, that yeah. 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 No, no, no. That you are involved. I'm not involved. He said he has, had, um, he has taken advantage of over six girls. And well, you never for once suspect that you stay in that house. I'm not aware about that. Uh, the reason is, is I just relocated. Phone we just down, relocated down. from uh, Abuja. I've not been around for 30 years. We've been living outside here. Phone down, phone so we down, just relocated down. because I've been retired. So it's not up to even two years before you relocate. So where do you retire from? Uh, uh, okay, from the ministry. Which ministry? Me Federal Minister of Health. As? Uh, my director. position? Yes. Okay, Deputy Director. So, um, once in a while, some other official assignment take me out, even though I've retired. Like, uh, for instance, the health records, uh, one of Nigeria, you know, the age of that, uh, our parasite has the cause of come and do supervision. So that's what takes me out. Then, um, if I'm not around, my other children that are always around, especially during holidays, that are at home. Okay, the information goes in that initially you were arrested while they were still in search of your son or that life. No, I, Did you give information to the police at the yes, very battle? Yes. Yes, 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 immediately. I said, Ubrak says he's going to Calabar. He now said I should call him. So I called him back and he came back. It was when he now came back that uh, uh, they now asked me to go. And so they now say they are going to interrogate Ubrak. Everyone is asking for justice. And what we tend to understand by justice in other cases is the person should die. You also request for that justice. Well, um, I, I, you know, it depends on the system. I'm, I'm, I'm not happy about what my child has done. I don't even believe this can happen to me. After I, I send them to school, try to bring them up, yeah, justice can be done if uh, the system so permits. Your, your, your son says Coach Refion played a very integral role in his arrest. He also said you call him back to Calabar from Calabar. Which one should take? Your son said Coach Refion asked him to come back. You are now telling us you have to call your son to come to Calabar. Yes, I called him now when, when I was asked to come and make this statement. He was, you know, they brought a uh, phone, showed me two pictures. Said, who among this room? I said, ah, this is my son. So as we we're going to put him, they say, we, uh, since he has gone to that, I should recall him. I called him and he... With your number? Yes. He's called out the number. Call 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 the I didn't, I, I didn't call this number, the phone was off, I called the Where? sister, as soon as we got around. What did you say? What did you say? What did you say? What did you say? Why are you calling the sister? Sir, who is calling to you? Trefion. Trefion is the son to my brother. One of the sons to my brother. And this is the only son. This is my only son. How many children do you have? I have three. Three. Can we get him again? Frank. 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 Frank.